Hi, Gary here from uh, Mr. G Shave. Um, this is face shave number 24, almost at a quarter of a century. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I'm older than that, but there you go. Um, today, I'm doing an Arco shave uh, just because I feel like using a bit of cream. Um, so, I'm going to be using as hardware, it's the Razor Rock. 400 brush I believe um, so there it is there lovely let's see what it says on the bottom uh, aluminium handle yeah the Razor Rock 400 um, alongside it I'm using the Supply SE so there it is um, it's got the blade in the plate that's in here um, is number two plate. Uh, I wish they showed that underneath as well as inside, but you know they they don't put the dots so that you can see them once you put the plate on. Um, you can only see it before you put the plate on. But there you go. Um, so yeah, that's the blade that's in it is I think probably on its third use. I'm also, as a different piece of hardware, once this beard's dried off a bit, I've invested, because if you can see, my beard is getting to a curly stage um, and becoming a bit of a pain. I ordered one of these, the Vicky Kong To Be A Viking Berserker Beard Straightener. So I don't know whether you can see that. Um, and it, the thing I liked about it is it's USB charging portable so you don't have to plug it in um, and you can set the temperature on it with these buttons here that's the on off there's a plus and a minus here um, and you just basically brush your beard and it straightens all the curls out but I've got to do it apparently so my daughter tells me um, when my beard hair is dry uh, and without any product on it as such so because I usually put um, a couple of products on I would, to try and stop it flying all over the place I bought some L'Oreal Export Barber Club at Slick Fixing Pomade for the beard to try and get it to stay in place and you know get rid of the curls I also use um, so Beard Balm from Prorazzo which is rather good. Um, I also have beard oil from Bulldog, which is also quite good. So those are the only real beard products I have. But once I've done my face shave, um, I'll probably show, show you how I use that uh, beard straightener. Um, and hopefully, you know, if, if you're interested, that is, in, in beards or you're growing a goatee and you're having the same problems I am, um, you know, hopefully it'll be of help. So, right, so where was I? So I'm using the supply as a pre-shave. I'm using the Aroma Bar Natural Shaving Oil. As the cream, I'm using the Arco Comfort. Um, and it hasn't been used before. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that it's still got the cap on uh, or the uh, silver foil so let's take that off now while I think about it there you go um, so yeah it'll be the first time I've used this one uh, I'm just going to lather on the face, there's no shaving bowl today. I did attempt that yesterday but the soap was a bit too hard to lather on the face. I'm going back to the roots if you like with my boots, root back to the roots with my boots, tea tree and witch hazel uh, tonic. And then following that up with Arco Cologne Gold Power. Uh, and then as a bit of a difference, I'm going to use a post-shave water gel uh, from the body shop, Macaruta Nalo. 
and then after I've finished uh, recording I will probably add some Nivea to that uh, on my face and on my head so we'll go for that so I'm gonna get everything ready and I'll be right back okay I'm back um, I've put the aroma bar pre-shave oil on my face not on my beard um, and I'm about to now go ahead and lather up face lathering with a brush gonna put some cream in so there you go that's that's the cream I've put in <clears throat> and uh, just spray some more water on my face and go for it so I hope everybody enjoyed my head shave those that watched it yesterday um, I, I don't know whether anybody spotted the small error well it, it was a I doubt anybody noticed it at least I hope they didn't uh, I somehow managed to uh, not check the batteries in my external recorder and so it didn't really record well it recorded the first third of my videos um, it didn't record the rest so I was luckily I, I plug in a fallback microphone a cheapy microphone into the Osmo pocket uh, I've got the adapter and I've actually got a half decent microphone um, but I just plug in a backup 20 pound microphone external microphone for the Osmo just in case I run out of batteries so it's always good to have a fallback when you're doing any of these kinds of recordings this is quite dry at the moment so I'm going to add some water now there's quite a nice quite a nice scent to it um, let's add some water Yeah, so um, hopefully everything will work with the audio this time. But even if it doesn't, I've still got the backup in. But it's got new batteries in the, the recorder, so there shouldn't be an issue. Um, so there we go. Right, so let's start off with the first pass. Um, yeah, so the week here weather's not brilliant it's okay it's warm I've just forgotten you've got to get used to find the angle on this It is cutting through it. Quite mild. Milder than I remember. You'll have to forgive the noises from outside. There's a neighbour having a, a barbecue with some friends because as it's July the 4th. Oh, by the way, to my American viewers, Happy July the 4th, Happy Independence Day. Um, where there's a lot of people celebrating in the UK today as well because our pubs are open. Um, are open today. So, my, as much as my local pub has decided not to open today because I think uh, A, they're not fully prepared, uh, and B, I don't think they want the avalanche of people trying to get in um, and I don't think they've got the systems in place because in the UK um, as much as the pubs are allowed to reopen or the your drinking locals you know your local place where you go to drink um, you have to register and book a slot um, which in many respects 
you know, is a bit more of a pain. Um, I, I'm certainly not intending to go out today because, as you all know, I have um, a problem with asthma and COPD. Um, it's, uh, uh, you know, I have to still shield from that. I, I, I don't think people who were shielding are included in people that should go to the pub. Or certainly my com my instinct says don't do it I mean don't get me wrong eventually I will go back to the pub at some point but probably not for a while yet so here we go This is actually struggling a little bit with the uh, with the beard. Seven days growth. It's not struggling too badly. Not not like a cart would, but it is clogging up. Um, so I'm expecting it cleans out easily enough. But the three pass shave is all about beard reduction. So you slowly reduce the amount of beard left on your face until you get to a BBS result, which you should do by the end of your third pass. So that's what this kind of shaving is all about. Even whether you're using a cartridge razor or a DE or a SE, whatever razor you're using, cutthroat, it doesn't matter. It's all about beard reduction. You're not going to achieve a BBS baby butt smooth shave on your first pass. I defy anybody to do that and prove it. Um, you know, you'd have to have multiple sh um, YouTubers saying they get the same result, really, for that to be a reliable outcome. Um, but yeah, so let's get some more water on, go for the second pass. That's the one thing I will say about this soap. I'd say scent strength is probably about a two or a three. Quite a nice um, scent on it. I wouldn't say it's a strong scent. Um, but I think it goes really well with the Arco Gold. It's, it's a match for that aftershave. Um, barbershop scent maybe. Um, floral a little bit. I like it, it's quite nice. It's a it's a sweeter, more floral scent than your standard barbershop. Say like your sterling barbershop. This is sweeter and more floral. Um, yeah. But it, it really, I think it's really going to go well with the Arco Gold Cologne. Be the best match yet for that cologne. Right, so let's go ahead and do the second pass. So across the grain on this side, for me, is go straight up. As you all know. Yeah, so um, we're celebrating in the UK. Restaurants are open again. There's a lot of you know rules and regulations about opening up that people have to follow. One-way systems, things like that. Hairdressers have opened. <laughs> Not that I have to worry about that, but you know, it's it's. I used to have to worry about that, but now I'm shaving my head. 
they've lost one of their best customers. <laughs> um, so yeah. Much more comfortable. Not sure what's going on with my lighting flickering. I mean, they're battery powered, so I don't know why they should flicker. But there you go. Right, so across the grain on this side is across the grain, is across the face. Really comfortable shave. Second pass is definitely better than the first, as you'd expect. But in some ways, I really enjoy the first pass, you know, it gets rid of the itchy. You know, after you've grown your beard out for seven days, it starts to get quite itchy. Um, and that first pass is quite satisfying. Right, third pass. Not the final pass, because there's still the pickup pass yet, but oh, I think this needs some more water. Really good soap, nice and slick. I have to say, I've always been impressed with Arco. Value for money wise, you can't, you know, it's one of those you can't beat. Um, so, I don't know what's going on with that light. Sorry if it's flickering on, on camera. I mean, I'm hoping that the auto exposure on the uh, Osmo Pocket is compensating quickly for the changes in lighting but it just seems to go really really bright then it goes quite dim and then sort of goes back up a bit and so I'll have to have a look at that but anyway and for those of you that might have noticed I have got another panel light which is an LED panel light this it's the one off to this side <laughs> Um, that's a new new one. Um, I did have a little box light on top of the camera um, which I haven't put on today because I'm trying to change the lighting scenarios. So against the grain now on this side straight up. And on this side, it's a cross.
So that's third pass done. Let's have a little feel around. It's quite a lot to pick up to be fair. Quite a lot. Yeah, a fair bit there. Let's uh, on a bit more. It, it's all down here. The, the, you know, my cheeks are fine. Um, but there's a lot of leftover beard around my neck. So I'm hoping this isn't going to punish me for over shaving, but <clears throat> here goes. Yeah, so I, I'm not going to be going out and partaking of the opening of the pubs and stuff because I think there'll be too many people and to me that it's a lot of hassle um, to have to register with the pub. You know, your name, address, not that I've got anything to hide but it's just... You go to the pub to relax, you don't want to have to think about registering to go and do something that you enjoy. I mean, okay, yeah, you book a table at a restaurant, so there's no, not a lot of difference, but um, it takes a little bit of the fun out of it. Because you can only, you know, I don't know what my local pub is gonna do um, in terms of the time slots you're gonna be allowed to book, you know, because there are, there, there are people I know that go to my local pub who'll be there all afternoon and all evening <laughs> on a weekend um, so um, I mean I never I don't ever sort of go out for a, a day on the on the beer I, 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 that's not my style anymore. It used to be when I was younger, in my early 20s, I could go all day. Especially as I used to live in Munich in those years. Um, I think I lived in Munich from the age of 17 to about 23, 24, something like that. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Have I got everything? That's as close. I'm not going to push it. I, there's still a little bit. I mean, maybe just in the corners here. A little bit. Uh, Yeah, that's as much as I'm going to do. Right, so I'm going to do a clean clean up. Um, that's three passes done. Uh, I haven't I haven't quite achieved a BBS. There's still some patches, but I can already feel there's a little bit of irritation on my neck. So I'm not going to push it. Um, it's not bad irritation, but I know that if I if I start going over and over and over, it's going to really uh, be unpleasant. So. Um, in terms of comparing this supply razor, say, to the um, Hawk version 2, the Hawk version 2, I think, is a much more aggressive razor and also um, more efficient. It will, it will, you will achieve a BBS, but equally, the SEs, I think, they give me a bit more irritation than the DEs, but um, I just feel I'd get a better result with the Hawk than I do with the with the um, supply razor. But there we are. Right, so I'm gonna pause it here and I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, right, so we're on the post shape now. Keep losing where I am. Um, so I've put a little, I've washed off with a bit of warm water. Um, so I'm gonna go use the alum that's Let's see what happens with the alum. This is cold, nice ice cold water. 
Twenty on. Where's my Alan? There it is. I knew I put it down somewhere. Ooh. Yeah, I'm glad I stopped when I did. That's burning. Definitely burning all around here, all around my neck. And if I'm honest, I knew. I knew I was uh, pushing it a little bit. I was in chasing the BBS shave, <clears throat> which I'm not far off. I'm, I'm literally hundredths of a millimetre um, away from having a BBS. I can just feel a little bit of um, roughness, only in certain patches. Um, but I think that was only the second or third time I'd used the supply razor. Um, so maybe it's just a matter of getting used to using it. But on second use, I think I prefer the, the Hawk V2. I might get myself the Hawk V3, the stainless steel one. But really I'm waiting for the stainless steel supply razor and I'm waiting for Carve to be available in the UK again so you don't have to pay the massive import fees that you do. Um, so, you know, those are the razors that I'm still waiting for. I haven't seen anything yet that appeals um, other than those. I, I am, my interest has been piqued by the V3, the Hawk V3. It seems have an even smaller head than the V2 um, and the fact that it's stainless steel is definitely of interest because I do like my stainless steel I prefer it to aluminium by a mile I, I really don't like um, the weight of, of aluminium um, in a razor I, I, you know I like a, a razor to feel weighty in the hand and aluminium just doesn't do it for me so uh, even brass is better than aluminium and the you know the majority of razors if they're not made with aluminium I'm, I'm quite happy with the weight of those but stainless steel just seems to have the edge um, but anyway right let's go with my boots back to my roots boots with tea tree and witch hazel Oh, I'm going to put some on my head as well. I mean, if I'm truthful, I mean, I shaved my head yesterday and I can already feel stubble there. Um, so I could have done another pickup pass today, but I, I like to try and keep a separation. And I certainly wouldn't stand here and do a three pass shave. Um, on my head or a two pass shave and then a three pass shave on my face um, just I, I, I'd struggle to get out of bed the following day with my back so Arco Gold oh yeah definitely a really good match for that uh, Arco Comfort the orange labelled Arco really nice really really nice Now then, this boots, macaroot and aloe, calming post-shave water gel. I'm hoping it's going to calm my neck down. It, it's not burning so much now. I mean, yes, I've just thrown aftershave on it, so it's going to burn. But um, just want that to dry and soak in a little bit before I put that on. But yeah, let's put some of this on. Let's see, show you what I'm working with. I've actually put on too much there, but I'm going to use it on my head as well. So probably not too much considering that. Right, that's dry enough. Uh, 
Uh, this has obviously got some menthol in it, not a lot. It's only there in the background, but it's certainly calming the old neck down. So that's it. Um, that's my show for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, it would be really great. I'd appreciate you subscribing. I think I've just got over 110, 111, I think, subscribers. So we're still growing. Getting closer to that 250 when I do a giveaway. Um, I haven't quite decided. I am going to give away that one soap. I, I know that. Um, which I think is the Rosa Rock Miguel de France soap. Um, but I will probably include a razor in there, maybe a King C. Gillette, something like that. Um, I'm not going to spend a fortune, it's, it is only 250 subscribers after all. Once I get to higher numbers, then you know, then I may well in increase the uh, giveaways in value, but yeah. Let's get to 250 and um, see where we go from there. But yeah, so about, I was looking at the statistics, about 60, 70% of people that watch my videos are not subscribers. It's really easy to subscribe in the bottom right hand corner as you look at the screen. Um, there's a little subscribe button, just click on that or at the end there's um, some links to videos and things and if you click the picture of my face that will subscribe you to my channel as well. Um, it's free um, and it helps me build as a channel um, and it makes it gives me the motivation to continue and carry on. Uh, not that I'm even thinking about stopping, I'm enjoying this too much but you know at the end of the day it's just a nice thing to do for somebody. Um, I try and subscribe to anybody that I watch um, certainly on the shaving side of things um, you know I, I do watch a lot of photography stuff as well and subscribe to a lot of photography stuff but I use a different email address and a different YouTube account for that I don't have a channel on that account I don't have any videos on that account uh, this is the only um, uh, email address which is my contact details and my Twitter account are all linked below um, but yeah so Please do subscribe, I appreciate it. And uh, I'm saying uh, it's bye bye from me. See you next Friday. And it's bye bye from the Supply Razor. There you go. Bye for now. Nearly forgot. I promised I was going to show you this uh, beard straightener in action. This is my beard pretty much in its natural state. Um, it's actually reached temperature now, I think, 180 degrees. Um, battery powered as I say and you just brush your beard and it seems to tame it quite easily you know, I haven't got the longest of beards, but there you go, that's straightened it out quite easily. this off there we go so yeah what do you think that's uh, done the job I'll put a little bit of beard product in it um, but yeah I'm pleased with that my it was one of the things that would annoy me about the beard and uh, made me think about it just think about shaving it off because it was so unwieldy but there you go um, if you weren't interested, sorry about wasting your time, but if you were interested in that beard straightener, it works. It's really good, and that was almost out of battery. Um, so, see you next time.